So something I quite often get asked is about binaural beats for lucid dreaming. Meditation tracks, music tracks, and you know, do they work? My advice on this is kind of split into two. On the one hand, you know, when you listen to music tracks, when you listen to these isochronic tones, binaural beats, meditation music, let's say, sleep tracks, and there are thousands of them. If you look here on YouTube, there are so many music tracks for lucid dreaming and all of this stuff. And I've even made some myself. They help you lucid dream, but the problem the reason that I, I don't really think you should listen to them, at least in, not until you're actually more experienced at lucid dreaming. The problem is to do with your mindset. Everything is about mindset, it's about your positioning. If you are doing what most people do when you go to YouTube and you think, I want a lucid dream. So you type in lucid dreaming and then the only thing that comes up in the suggestions is lucid dreaming music. And the idea behind that, the idea is that if you just listen to this track, you're gonna lucid dream and you don't have to do anything. You can just sit back or lay back, go to sleep, and you'll lose a dream. This is not the case. It might be at the beginning. So what happens is at the very beginning, if you're lucky, you just by setting the intention and listening to the track, you will actually have a lucid dream. And that's great. It gets more people into the topic. It gets people interested and hopefully you then want to learn more and so on, right? But a lot of people will try and put a track on, start listening to it and nothing happens. And they might go weeks or months of doing this, right? Trying to listen to the track, they try and lucid dream, nothing happens, and they're back to square one. Why is that? The idea behind it is if I just listen to this track, I'll lucid dream and I won't have to do anything. Well, that's not quite true. You do have to do something. You have to change your mindset. You have to practice skills like reality checks. You have to meditate. You have to increase your self-awareness, learn how to write your dreams down, be consistent, right? Be actually like predictable and consistent. So where you're doing the same thing every day, even if you don't want to, even if one day you wake up and you just, you can't be bothered to write your dreams down, you don't want to actually do it. Well, part of lucid dreaming is you need to do it anyway, because it's being consistent that will build the habit. And once you have the habit, that's what actually makes you lucid dream. So the problem with the tracks, with the binaural beats, is that you look at them, you put them on, and it's almost like you give up your commitment and responsibility and you just give away your power to the track. And you just think, well, even if it's subconscious, you just think the track will make me lucid dream and it becomes a crutch. And this happens across many areas of life. We develop and rely on these crutches, which stop you from doing the actual work, the actual things required to get the result. You know, another very common one is with like self-help or motivational videos. Now, don't get me wrong, it's fine to watch a self-help video or a motivational speech or something, but if you want to change, nine times out of 10, you already know what you need to do. It's just a case of actually doing it consistently and every day. What people do instead is that you wake up and you think, right, I'm gonna change, today's the day, right? And you keep watching these videos, these motivational speeches, these TikToks or whatever. And before you know it, it's lunchtime, then you go for a walk, then it's dinner time, and you haven't actually done anything. You haven't actually changed in any way, physically or mentally. And this is the same thing with lucid dreaming. To do it, you need to basically stop watching the videos and do the things you know you need to do. So what are those things? reality checks, writing your dreams down, meditating, removing distractions and artificial dopamine sources. Anything which releases dopamine in an unnatural way, things like TikTok, things like drugs, recreational drugs, alcohol, things like this, right? Artificial, unnatural things that release dopamine in a way where it makes everything else seem gray in comparison. If you're watching highly engaging, very distracting TikToks all day long, to your brain, that's like crack, basically. It's like this addictive, high dopamine releasing thing where it's always gonna be more interesting and more exciting than sitting down for two hours and planning out your year. Or, you know, anything else you could think about. It's always more exciting to just flick on the TikTok or go, put, turn Netflix on, whatever the case may be. So you need to basically reduce those dopamine releasing things or at least save them until the end of the day where you've already achieved something. So that is why with the binaural beats, it's like a crutch. It's like if you just took painkillers every day or you just did something where you're just constantly, you're only relying on this, this other thing instead of actually experiencing you know, what's actually happening. Hopefully this is making sense. My point is don't rely on these videos to actually lucid dream. Instead, focus on building the skills and actually doing the thing. I do have a full video here on YouTube. The link is down here in the description or in the pinned comment. It teaches you everything well, 80 to 90% of what I've learned about lucid dreaming in the last decade in one video. So it will save you a lot of time. Go and check that out.